Josh Bayless. Josh, and how yeah. long have you worked here? I've been a longshoreman for nine years nine now. Nine years? Okay, all right. And what's the plant behind this? This plant is uh, EGT. That's right. EGT, yeah. And can you tell me what they do? They're, they're a grain elevator, and uh, they are basically hiring scabs. They don't want to hire us at ILWU, longshoreman, and this is waterfront, and this should be our jurisdiction. This is what we've, we've done... 70 years, 80 years, you know, yeah. it's been our work, and uh, to lose it now, you know, it, it's, you know, we're, we're sticking up for, our, you know, our future, you know, it could be jobs for our kids, you know, on, you know, that this is my life, this is very important to me, you know, this you know? is everything, other than my immediate family, this is my life, this yeah. is my family, these are my brothers, mm -hmm. and we all feel that way about yeah. everybody, even if I don't know the Longs Army, he's still my brother and my yeah. sister, I love my job, I love my union. Take very good care Take of Take pride in what we do. And yes. Take and pride. How do you see winning this fight? It's gonna be a long one and it's you know, I don't know. I'm not I'm not an officer and I don't you know I don't know everything about it, but it's gonna be a long drawn out battle and you know it's gonna have to take a lot more than just us to to get through this. We're gonna have to have backing like you said, from the rail, everybody. The, rail, the railroad the railroad's been helping us, uh, the, the barges. You know, all these other companies. Man, they're so, saying they're not going to bring cargo in. They said, figure it out. You know, we don't want to be in between it. You know, we're not we're not going to bring in cargo unless you guys figure it out. You know, I mean, and all we're asking for is a few jobs here on the, the dock side, which is what we've been doing for, you know, the last 80 years. It's uh, we, we should have the entire facility. How we you? should be working. We should be dumping the cars in this facility here. And we should be running all this. We sh this is, should be our work. We do this in every other grain elevator. This should be our work. This is our years. work. They could be up. And, they could be up and years. They could be up and running. They could be making money right now. And you know, and they, all they us. all they yeah. got to do is just give out a few jobs. You know. So and, how did you stop the grain from being delivered? Uh, we basically stood up and said. We're not going to let the train come in. So yeah. we stood on the tracks about 400 feet yeah, was... waiting for the train, and they turned around in Kalama and took it back to Portland. Uh, yes, uh, BN said they didn't want to even have anything to do with it. Yeah. There's we, no sense in no. So that anything to do with it. The this. company threw some of you in jail or arrested you? or That, uh, was, that was after that, yeah. Okay, so all right. Our... Our president for our local got arrested. Uh, my brother-in-law got arrested. Uh, numerous, because uh, we're from Vancouver, numerous local four, local four numerous Longview guys uh, have been arrested, and it's all for uh, small stuff, uh, trespassing. Um, I mean, real, real simple, small stuff. Crossing you know? a line. There's, a, there's a dotted line on the main gate that's pink dotted line, oh. and if you cross that line. And they have a limit on how many people can pick it here. Yeah, they, it's they like just, 16 they just or 18. Because we were coming so down here with, with 100 people, you know, 150 people. Right. And, I mean, there, there'd be 20, 30, 40 cop cars down here, and it was chaos. It, it really was chaos, you know. And uh, so they, you know, they kind of, we kind of took a little, you know, they they asked if we could uh, tone it down, and which is nice. Yeah. Now we got it in shifts, you know, to where... There's always something. There's always, here. We always right. got a presence. Twenty four seven. Know? There's always something. From here. every local, from local twenty one, local local eight, local twenty one is Longview, right. local eight is Portland, Portland. and local, local four, four is Vancouver. But and, yeah. and it's great. We're getting uh, retirees from oh, Seattle yeah. and right. Tacoma, yeah. and we got uh, people coming from uh, Everett and Aberdeen. Fifty two. Uh, because they all, we all love our union. Yeah. And, and this takes care of our families, and this is our life. Yeah. And it takes. It takes you know, all I'll do us. whatever I can. I'll die for my job. This is this is my life. I, I don't want to do anything else. I want to be a longshoreman, and I will fight as hard as I can to get what we deserve. And if, for this and, long, and if, if we don't get some in-house work or you know some jobs here on the waterfront, you know, I mean, we could. It's not only are we losing jobs here, but we're going to lose jobs in our other grain elevators. You know, it's it's such a you know, multi-billion dollar company, you know, and uh, they've got it set up to where they can load three, four hatches at a time when, 
they'll be pumping out ships twice, three times as fast, you know, than our other other grain elevators. And these large corporations are trying to to break our unions, mm-hmm. and you know, I mean, they're not as strong as they used to be, and, and we are. And we need to show them that, and they need to back us, and they need to understand we're not going that, nowhere. That the no, union is very important to the working man, to the blue collar worker. Mm-hmm. You know, this is important. We're not going nowhere. We're making no. a presence, you know. You know, so how can fly. other people support you? There's, come down However to the line? They can. Or, Just mm-hmm. don't cross our picket lines. Right. You know, support us in every every way you can. You know, uh, screw these people, basically. Really? <laughs> yeah, pretty and, much. And multi, multi-billion dollar company. And uh, they're worried about giving, you know, giving a few longshoremen some jobs, you know. They could be making money right now, but they're that stubborn that they'd rather not make money and uh, try to get rid of our union and, right. yeah, and, and try to right. not, you know, when they first leased this property is when we should have sat down and had it, you know, had it written in stone that, you know, we were going to have this many jobs and, you know, the rest of the jobs they could fill and a lot of it's automated. So you lose jobs right there. But, uh, you know, it was something that we, we should have took care of in the beginning, but uh, it just kind of got a little too far. And now it's to the point where now it's in court. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that could take years. Yeah, yeah. That's where right. It's like, yeah. yeah. You know, well, so the port tough. is public land, right? So we should be pressuring our public officials to push pressure the port well, to. We're, we're trying, trying, I believe. Yeah. You know, our, our but I mean, other people could help do that. Yeah. yeah. Great. Well, thanks. That's yeah. great.